Hi YouTube. Uh, I really wanted to make a video yesterday and thank Wildwood Claire for the shout out and uh, all my new subscribers and, and folks who've watched and comment on all my videos. Unfortunately I wasn't able to do that yesterday as much as I wanted to. I ended up getting saddled with a pretty nasty migraine. And I'm not sure how many of you have ever had these ocular type migraines but they're really really uh, debilitating for me. It usually starts out for me as uh, visual artifacting. So it's almost as if you took a truck rearview mirror and cracked it and then took each piece and sort of bent it just a little bit different. So what it creates is this uh, blind spot and it's it's not a blind spot that's like a hole in your vision like a dark spot. It's actually just a spot that you can't see. And so I was using a weed trimmer doing some weed eating yesterday I realized I couldn't see my one hand and that's the first signal of it. I'm like oh crap here we go. You know, I've been getting them for years, so I know, I, I know what's coming. And so I've got to basically lay down. And then after the, the, uh, the lost vision, I start to get these shimmering artifacts. They're almost like little lightning bolts or little crescent moons or different shapes of this shimmering kaleidoscopic pattern. And that'll last for a while. And then when that all subsides, I'll get uh, some numbness and tingling. Usually a leg or an arm or my face, lips. Yesterday my whole leg and my whole arm and my throat went numb and that's a little unnerving because I, I felt like I couldn't breathe. I was having trouble swallowing. And then when that all subsides then the pain comes which thankfully isn't as severe as it used to be. When I was younger it was extremely severe pain. Grown man cry type of pain and it's not so bad anymore. But what I do get is usually a few days afterwards of just not feeling quite myself, just not optimal. So at any rate, as much as I wanted to say thanks, Claire, for the video yesterday, I'm afraid I'm going to have to do it today, uh, and again to all my new subscribers and everyone, everyone who's watched and commented on my videos. Now I did want to do a small presuppositionalist rant today. I've got a couple of videos that need to be uploaded yet. I'll do that when I get a chance. So a couple more subroutines. This one isn't going to be so much of a subroutine as it's going to be a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of a venture into the basis behind his argument for for him, why he says he does it, and also a little bit of what he promotes for his followers or other people who'd like to use this street apologetic uh, to their uh, advantage. Uh, so I'll go about that uh, as soon as I get a chance here. I'm just driving into town. I wanted to go for a walk in the woods today up in the mountains and just clear my head a little bit. But it's raining here again today, so I don't really feel like fighting that. So uh, I'm going to go and get myself a coffee and just try to relax. I'd already taken the day off from work, luckily. So I'm just going to try and relax today so that I can be ready to go at it at work tomorrow. And uh, I will follow shortly with another video on the presuppositionalist apologetic of Cy Tenberg and Kate and Eric Colvin.